Hello everyone. Um, how are you doing today? I hope that everyone's having a nice day. <laughs> I'm here for my stream and um, I'm just checking my levels, checking to see if it's gone live or not yet. And I'll get started today. I think since Halloween is coming up soon, I'm going to be doing like a Halloween comic because I only have like three comics going on right now. <laughs> I guess I want to make sure I never finish any of them <laughs> by starting another one. But I, um, I kind of planned out one and I think I'm going to draw a character for it today or uh, I, I'm either going to draw the character and um, <laughs> I'm just testing my levels there, sorry. I'm either going to draw up, I mean, I am going to draw a character design and then I either will do uh, the first page of the plant comic or I'll do another character design or I'll do a more in-depth one. So we'll just kind of see. Hi, uh, Mexicano11. <laughs> uh, should I draw Michael Myers from the Halloween series? I think in October I'll probably be posting more like speed, bane, speed paints from... Um, creepy characters and stuff. Hello MGB, how are you today? <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I better get started on sketching. <laughs> so there's not just a blank face, a blank uh, page forever. I've got my tea going. I haven't had any tea today. I guess I want this to be a little more visible for people who are watching on their phones or whatnot. Um, so I have a music going <laughs> as well. And um, uh, so... <laughs> If that's too loud at any point or anything, someone can tell me. So yeah, uh, for this little comic idea I had... Hello, S uh, Samantha, how are you? <laughs> um, for this little comic I had uh, idea, I was just going to have like a ghost. <laughs> it's not like original. I'm not breaking any ground here. Um, but uh, I thought I would do like a little ghost character. And since it's kind of Halloween-y, I wanted to make her in maybe like a cape or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think that might be kind of fun. I forgot to send out a quick message. Everyone always wants me to send out, not everyone, <laughs> a couple of people like me to send out a quick message sometimes. Um, so I will do that real quick, <laughs> but I will be sketching as well. So let's go ahead and start sketching. I've lost my chat already. <laughs> Hi, Cherry. How are you? I hope everyone's having a good day. It's pretty, pretty nice here. Um, my schedule is finally starting to clear up a little bit, so <laughs> I'm excited. I was kind of bummed lately. I haven't been having much time for, um, uh, you know, YouTube and, and my regular videos. I've just been making sure I do those live streams <laughs> once a week. So I'm just going to start by just drawing a character and seeing kind of what shape it takes here. Um, let me just type this in real quick. Uh... and send it on. <laughs> Sorry for the quietness. Yeah, so I can't hear the music, but hopefully it's going. Um, and like I said, if anyone hears it and it's really loud or you can't hear me talking over it or anything, let me know my mic for these um, live streams. I push my mic over. So it's actually, you know, it's it's like gripped to my table and on a, on a I guess like a elbow kind of stand where it has the bend. And, um, so I can only kind of pivot it. I can't really control where it goes very well. So when, when I do these live streams, I kind of push it into the, the only direction where I can really, which is towards my computer, which means that it picks up some of the um, uh, fan sounds that my computer makes because, uh, I don't know, live streaming for some reason takes a lot more processing power, I suppose. So my fans kick up a little bit. Okay, so I don't want to make her too old, but I don't want to make her, um, you know, like like a ch child either. <laughs> so I'm going for like an adolescence here. Um, and I have my tea here, so you'll hear the usual slurping <laughs> perhaps a little bit. So do you think it's too early to be thinking ahead for Halloween <laughs> already? Um, I kind of like to start getting, well, if you're doing any kind of projects or anything, it's good to start now. <laughs> Because I've learned certainly in the past that it is very difficult to kind of make something very last minute or um, 
let me just check I'm just checking some things it's so hard to read off like a display and talk at the same time I wonder how people can do that uh, some people ask like how do I draw and talk at the same time and it's not uh, it's not quite such it, it's it's difficult sometimes, but it's kind of more, drawing is a little bit more of just like a muscle memory rote kind of skill, whereas like reading and talking at the same time is definitely a skill I don't have because I, I get kind of confused and my brain like stutters a bit. <laughs> I'm sure other people have had that kind of uh, happen to them as well. So let me see here. I'm going to shrink up her head. I always draw heads way too big to begin with compared to the bodies, or maybe I draw the bodies too small to around the heads. Uh, I guess that could go either way. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw the character and then if I like the design, I will draw her in a couple different um, uh, like uh, positions, I guess face angles is the word I'm looking for. And yes, I've lost my chat already. I keep switching over to a different display thing to check. <laughs> um, there's a tropical storm in my country. Oh no. Is it, um, there's a horrible one right now, I think in the uh, Philippines, I think. Uh, it was over there in that uh, general area of the world, I think. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Um, I've got, whoops, I gotta find my, my little sticky note here. I got a sticky note here in case I need to take notes. Renzi. <laughs> Is that what your name was? I wrote down Renzi. And I had to remember. I, f I always forget what it is because I'm a terrible person. I can't remember anything name-wise. And every time I see someone, they're like, oh, hey, it's been a while. I'll be like, oh, hey, you. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Uh, I, I know there's like mnemonic ways to like remember names and stuff. I've just never been very good at it. Um, like mnemonic meaning like you think of a, like a, of a way. I think I'm going to have her her hands <laughs> be up like this. Um, it might be kind of fun to just have her, you know, like kind of not in like a evil Mr. Burns <laughs> holding their hands moment, um, but just a, uh, I don't know, <laughs> just have her hands there. So I think it's good to have hands involved in, in drawings. And since this is just a uh, sketch for the um, concept design. I think it'll be fine <laughs> if I just play around with it and have fun with it and not worry too much about it. <laughs> Isn't, uh, is it not Ren Renzi? <laughs> I hope it is. Um, so I hope you're safe right now, Cherry, and you're not having any, um, weather related problems. There's a Hurricane Florence right now in Florida in the U.S., but I live very far from there. <laughs> so, it's not affecting me, and I don't know anyone who lives in Florida, but it's still very scary. I saw some, I think there are some, some casualty, uh, fatalities there, so it's pretty sad to hear about that kind of stuff. Um, so I guess I'm making her a little bit more masculine than I want in the shoulders there, so I'll shave that in a bit, and let's see. You're not good at sketches. I'm definitely, I'm definitely a messy sketcher. I, I've said it many times, but my philosophy is to make a mess of your work. Or my philosophy for, or my technique, I guess I should say, is that um, I make a big mess and then I clean it up <laughs> drawing, uh, so that I don't have to worry about being perfect at the beginning, and I can just kind of have fun and keep it loose and flowing and just not worry about it too much. So. Um, yeah, I think this was good. Uh, her, her waist or whatever, I think I've lost it a little bit. It was a little bit like that. Uh, I wanted to put her in like some kind of cape and I, or maybe a collar, like a Dracula thing. Maybe that would look silly. She's supposed to be a ghost. So what she died in will be her outfit. Um, but I did want it to be kind of dramatic and Halloween-y. Maybe it'll just be like a, a cape that you might wear if you were a certain, I don't know, is it Victoria age? What, when was uh, uh, Belle from Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> I guess that's kind of what I'm thinking of um, when they had those like capes. Uh, let's just put it in like that. Yeah, I like that. I think that's nice. I might shave a little bit down here. 
<laughs> um, it's Rinzi if you haven't figured out. D didn't I say Rinzi? <laughs> Maybe I didn't say it clear enough. Um, yeah, Rinzi. I hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> um, let me see here. Is it... That says my mic is going. I... <laughs> If you can't hear my, if you can hear my voice, put the word uh, duckling in the chat so that I know that someone, someone write duckling so I can make sure that you can hear me. And I am not just, um, some, sometimes, like last time my audio died, <laughs> it disappeared, but I think it was kind of a user error kind of thing for a while so people couldn't hear me and I was just rambling on to myself as the live stream went on. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so if someone could put the word duckling in, and then I'll know that you can hear me, <laughs> that would be good. And I'll see. I, I guess I can open up my um, my thing and make sure my voice is coming out. I can just open up the live stream and put on my headphones, and I'm going to unmute it. Yeah, I can hear myself. Okay. <laughs> you were having me worried no one was writing duckling, <laughs> so... I'll write it myself and reassure myself. Is that weird to do? It's probably. Here we go. I'm going to write the word duckling. And if there's something that's going on for some reason only I can hear it, everyone will be wondering, why did I type duckling into the chat? I should put like a little... I'm going to do the smiley face. And I don't know if it comes across to other people, but that smiley face for me in... in uh, I guess it's Safari, but I guess it would be a Google thing. <laughs> it looks like a duck. <laughs> um, I guess I'll type in the chat. Can people hear me talking? Just in case. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I'm just like extra paranoid when I do these live streams because it's really hard to self uh, test things because you're talking. So if you go on and, um, okay. <laughs> Cherry says she can. <laughs> I'm just being paranoid. Okay. So yeah, so she'll have this nice silly cape. I mean, it won't be silly. Uh, maybe we'll have like, speaking of Beauty and the Belt, uh, Beauty and the Beast, um, she had one that was kind of like that. And I think that would be kind of a fun thing to have it like, um, you know, partly cover her shoulders and then, the rest would go down here and it might be kind of a fun design to play with. Um, and then I, yeah, I think that's good. Let's draw some features. Wonder what she should look like. I want to tilt her head a little bit because right now she looks uh, kind of static. <laughs> so um, something more like this, I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that'll work. Um, and then we'll just give her a nice friendly expression. She'll be f a friendly ghost, but I won't call her Casper. <laughs> I wonder if anyone remembers that movie, Casper the Friendly Ghost. I think that's going back to the 90s at this point. Um, and it, <laughs> they, they've had like spinoffs and cartoons and stuff. The original movie had, was it Christina Ricci might have been her name? And she was in it, and, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the names, but, uh, Devon Sawa. That's what's coming to mind. <laughs> Is that the name? Maybe. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to draw on the tops of her eyes and, uh, get the bridge of her nose in here. Just sketching out her face. It's all just a concept sketch, so I'm not too worried about it being perfect <laughs> to begin with. I'm never worried about it being perfect to begin with. It's my my common thing to say. <laughs> I get very repetitive, I think, when I when I talk and um Yeah. <laughs> uh I say the same thing over and over again and I've noticed it when I edit. I I finally had time to do some recording, so I'll be having some more videos this week. I was um speaking earlier, but I might have been before anyone got on that um, I think her nose is a little too wide here. I'm going to shrink this in a bit. That, um, I'm going to have more time to do some regular videos because I've been kind of away from 
uh, YouTube for a while. I've been coming back as much as I can. I'm watching up and catching up and I've been a little bit behind for a while. So hopefully my new schedule, it's not really a new schedule, but, <laughs> but um, as things have kind of calmed down, I'll be able to come back more and it would be great. Hello, copyright free. How are you doing today? <laughs> hopefully everyone's having a good day. Although Cherry said that there was a uh, typhoon in her her, his, or their country. I don't want to get that gender wrong. I always assume, almost always, that everyone's a girl. I don't know why I do that. <laughs> it's like a weird, I, I don't know, even like on the internet. It, and I've heard guys say that they almost always assume people are guys if they don't know. <laughs> maybe it's like you always assume the first gender, uh, the first gender you assume is your own gender. Or maybe that's just me. It's just, <laughs> so you're from gender? Uh, for, you're from gender. <laughs> you're from Germany? Well, hello. I don't know much German. Good, guten da, uh, guten da, guten, guten nagen? <laughs> I don't know. One of those. I think it would be guten nagen over there right now. I hope you have a nice day too, copyright free. Um, so let's get her mouth line in. Give her something. I'm always giving guten tag. <laughs> okay. Guten Tag. I'm sure I'm butchering that. <laughs> I really should learn some more like simple greetings in different languages. I think German would be a fun language to learn too. Um, yeah, I, I knew some an exchange student back in high school who was a German uh, from Germany and uh, she had a very cool accent. <laughs> I was always jealous of the accent. There was something a little bit like, you know, when Americans talk, they kind of go, la, 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 and the German accent was more like, duck, 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 I don't know how to explain it. It was more staccato, more like, uh, like <laughs> precise beats and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, I should learn certain, like, I should just do like a poll and see where everyone's from and then try to learn a greeting from all the different countries. That would be fun, fun little side project, I guess. Um, so let's get the shape of her face in here. I give her a bottom lip so she doesn't look quite so silly. Uh, I think her, her face is a little too long too, so I'll shrink that up a bit before I continue and then adjust her um, cheeks and stuff accordingly. Something like that. <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting when I play this back. I usually do try to watch it back afterwards to see if the music was playing. I, I did like a little test, just a little tiny test, and it's supposed to loop, but I don't know if it's just random music. It's just like music that I had made for videos in GarageBand. Um, oh, thank you, Copyright Free. I really enjoy your stuff. Uh, if you don't know, Copyright Free has a lot of like fun, sort of jokey videos where there's a lot of dancing and stuff. You should you are interested in that you should definitely go check out their channel <laughs> um i guess only two I don't, I don't think anyone else is watching i just have the one the one spectator or two spectators that's okay people come and go as they i'm happy to have them come in and and leave whenever they feel like it i'll just keep sketching um but yeah copyright free i really enjoy your your uh your videos they're a lot of fun <laughs> It's always fun to see the, the music ones, especially. So that's, uh, I kind of sh I haven't really thought about what I want to do for her hair. I wonder what I should do. Probably just give her a, uh, short hairdo <laughs> or maybe something like pulled back. Um, let's give her some like bangs, I think to start with. And I usually just do like simplified bangs <laughs> that are easy to draw. <laughs> um, and then I can do some over here and over here like that and then some down here and here and that'll just be kind of the start of her hair and then I think uh, yeah I'll have it like come down in a band of hair and then back here will be just a little bit messy right now back here she'll have maybe like a pulled uh, you know how you pull just a couple strands of hair out like that and that might be kind of a fun look to have. Her head's a little misshapen right now. I'll work on that. And then she could have long hair like that. But I'm going to just shrink that in a bit. I was 
a little bit far off. <laughs> I've lost all my guide drawings. So, um, all right. Well, have a great day, copyright free. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Uh, and I and I'll see you in the future. I'm sure. <laughs> now I think it's it's down to uh, <laughs> me and future watchers. <laughs> so hello, future watchers, if you're watching this archived. Um, yeah, I've been doing a little bit more uh, comic work lately. I've been I have four comics going on right now because I'm crazy, and none of them are published. I've published a couple in the past. I have an old comic from uh, two years ago, I think. That's a Halloweeny one that I might uh, do like a dub of. <laughs> it's kind of sketchy old artwork, so I, I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll look into doing that. It might be kind of fun though. Uh, I'm not sure if people really care about <laughs> how the quality of the art uh, that much. So since her hair will be pulled back a little bit, I guess I want to draw in her ear. And I'll put it just like right there. Um, and bring it down and then like that. And then I don't always draw ears. <laughs> They're like a little bit of a tedious thing to do. But it's a nice detail too. So I guess we'll give her an ear, the poor girl. She'll have to be able to hear something. <laughs> so we'll get that going like that. And then I, I think this is coming out pretty good for a character. I never like to draw them too complicated, especially if I am going to draw them in a bunch of frames. Um, it's something that you can draw over and over again. So like if you give them a shirt with a very intricate design, I always feel like uh, that's a bit um, difficult <laughs> to work with. Um, and take a quick drink of my tea. Actually, I can drink another quick drink. Usually I'm on my second cup, but today I'm only on my first. So, um, trying to type something real quick on the sly. I wonder if people can hear that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think next I'll draw her, um, hands and I think it would, it's just nice to have some expressive expressive hands especially in like concept art and here I'm just quick 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 little type just a little quick type I'm back now <laughs> So for hands, I've gotten a little question, a couple questions lately about how I draw hands, and I have a um, a I don't know <laughs> like a, a how not to draw hands video that I've recorded the audio and I've started putting some graphics in, but those kind of videos take I think I have like six bullet points and those take a little bit longer to edit. So I really wanted to get those edited by Friday, <laughs> which was yesterday, and I did not. So. <laughs> Hopefully they'll go up maybe tomorrow, Sunday, uh, and if not Sunday, I'll put them up Monday. And then I have a very long video coming up, which has, um, I think I'm going to draw her hands over here. I'm going to do the cheaty computer thing because I'm a little bit worried that I'll mess up all these details and have to just keep erasing and erasing. So <laughs> I'll do a little cheaty, but I have a very long video where, um, I'm purposely kind of not really mess up, but I just am very sloppy, uh, more so than usual. And I don't really, uh, um, <laughs> I don't draw it out and paint it out quite like you should meticulously. And then it, I'll, it's like a two hour video where I've sort of made purposeful mistakes, but they're not like mistakes that you make as a joke. Um, they're more like, let me see here. I'm trying to figure out how I want these hands to go. I'm going to draw the fingers in first. I'm going to have it here like this. I want them against each other. <laughs> So, uh, purposeful mis uh, mistakes that I then edit down and I mean <laughs> that I then just keep going with and then I end up with a portrait at the end and I show you how to just kind of keep going even when you're making a lot of mistakes and stuff. So give her first finger here. This finger is a little too big already. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and shrink it. Why not? And uh, I think I'll bring this all in a little bit here. And then her second finger will come out, her middle finger rather, will come out like this. And then her middle finger and her um, <laughs> uh, ring finger. I know the fingers. 
will be together like this over here and then we'll have her pinky finger probably like this and I want like a mirrored effect I think I might have to give these a little bit of a bend because all of them are very straight but I'm just kind of trying to figure out this hand for now so I'm not going to worry too much about it looks a little bit off this should uh, yeah let's give this a bend actually so this front one will bend in like this and then it'll be over like that these hands are way too big I just, <laughs> just gotten way away of drawing them over on the side here but that's okay we'll reshape them before and then this one will go in and be a little bit bent we'll give them all a little bit of a bend because we're going to be pressing them against each other and then this one um, will have a little bend but it'll be right next to this other one and then we'll go down here reshape this a little bit and it will come out and have a bit of a bend going up like this and then over like that I think that's pretty good and then the hand would come out like that so that looks a little bit more like what I have in mind for her I should just look up steeped hands um, <laughs> like Mr. Burn hands but not like malicious <laughs> or evil or, or evil gesture I just mean like kind of an innocent thing so I'm gonna shrink these up a bit because in general the hand should be about the size of the face so you can think of it that way it would cover that that seems like a good size for her hand uh, I'm gonna move this out a little bit <laughs> I have to sneeze so I'm gonna mute this for just a second if I no I think it's going <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. And you still have that kind of have to sneeze, like itchiness or, or burning in your nose. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so over here we'd see the finger a um, little bit down here, maybe like that. And we could see this finger over here a little bit <laughs> like that. And then this one you could see, um, maybe we'll see a little bit of it coming out. And it'll go down and then the hand will be over here so that was the hands I was thinking of I think they're okay I'm gonna shift in my chair and it's a very noisy chair so I apologize in advance <laughs> and then I'm going to um, let's see here I guess I should erase this <laughs> these first and then this is all since I drew this to the side and the shrink it the line thickness is not gonna match but I do want to kind of get it in there. Let's see. Does that look good? Like this maybe? <laughs> I think that's good. Um, yeah, so I'll put that on here. And put this over like that. And over like that. <laughs> okay. I think that looks good. I might have to kind of work on adjusting the size later but it's just a concept sketch so I'm not too overly worried with it being perfect and then um, I'm gonna just give her like a uh, <laughs> move that over like that and then move this like a uh, cuff I guess is the word a cuff for her and this will probably yeah I think we I, I like it better with like it's sewed in like that and then we can have like a little few wrinkles and it'll go down like this <laughs> and then we can have it go down like this and then we'll have I think it all yeah there we go let's take a look let's zoom out a little bit I think that looks good I, I think I'm happy with this as a concept sketch um, I guess I will now uh, work on drawing her from different angles <laughs> Um, I don't really have a plan here. I've, I've lost all my guides. So if this is where her, her her chest would come out and then you could go in like this and um, move it over like that. <laughs> I think that looks good. And we'll put it here. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to get her arm wrong. I think I'll just have it out like this. <laughs> I can't quite picture the size. Uh, I think I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, it'll be a little foreshortened and then she'll have the, her her sleeve like this <laughs> and it'll go in like that. And I think that, let's see here, just trying to picture how it would be foreshortened. Let's just bring it closer to her body. So it's like down like that and we'll just get rid of all that. <laughs> That's a little bit less awkward I guess. <laughs> and then um, 
over here will be this so we can give some wrinkles there just a few little finishing touches even though it's kind of still just a concept sketch so I think that looks pretty good like that and then uh, yeah so should I go ahead and detail her out oops I moved my background I didn't mean to should I go ahead and detail her out I think I will um, just go ahead and give her like some colors and stuff before I draw all her face angles that might be fun so I'll go ahead and save here and um, let me see here I'm gonna go to paths and I'm going to uh, blow this up and I'm gonna go over here and just start working I think I need to change I'm gonna save my paths <laughs> I don't know how much it's always kind of frustrating because OBS doesn't always show them uh, perfectly <laughs> but I'm going to um, yeah, I'll just outline her a little bit like that and um, just keep going I think I will yeah I, I've just kind of been my indecision <laughs> comes from not being sure if I want to uh, to to ink her like this but I think I do I think it'll be nice to have like a finished little uh, concept um, drawing <laughs> over to the side there so I'll put this in and we'll just go ahead and it won't take too long it's only a half body drawing <laughs> and like I said I usually tend to draw the comic characters uh, a little bit simplified so that they're easy to sketch in later <laughs> so I'm going to put that there and hopefully I'm getting a little wheel here a little spinning wheel <laughs> Hopefully that it's still going. Let me double check over here. Yeah, I can see my stream is still going. Uh, I need like a, a, a helper. <laughs> um, let me see here. I'm gonna just keep, I'm gonna keep going with this and I'm gonna keep checking that thing over there that nobody can see. Uh, yeah. I think I hope her hair is okay I want it to be kind of simple but with a little bit of a design that that pulled back area gives her just like a little bit something special so it's not just plain hair that's down and unstyled or anything like that um, and I'll just keep going around let's give it a little break here at the top of the head I think will be good and I'll move it on over here <laughs> and move it over down here and yeah just kind of keep tracing it let's put this here over here like this and move it down and move it over um, and then over like that that looks pretty good I think uh, I'm not really sure how much I should pull in past her ear I think I might actually leave this area blank <laughs> hard to say um, Uh, yeah, I think I will. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll make my choice here. Let me see. I'm going to do her ear then and just put that in. I always wonder if anyone else uses the, um, <laughs> the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, pen tool. <laughs> that is what I'm looking for. My mouse is telling me the batteries are low. <laughs> Hopefully it won't die. If it dies, that's okay. I will uh, just replace the batteries. And I'll get this going in here. And over here, right where that air ends, I'll give this little tiny bit of um, jawline. And move it down like that. <laughs> and then I'll move this neck down and out. And then uh, while I'm up here, I guess I should grab her hairline. I'm going to move it out and give it a little bit more of like a wavy look. Uh, what I mean by that is just it goes out a little bit more at an angle. <laughs> I think that'll look nice. And then I'll put this down over here. And uh, yeah, like that. And then I'll do the collar. <laughs> very, very detailed description of <laughs> what I'm doing. 
So the color, I, I kind of messed up a bit here. So it's going to come in here where this, um, where it meets at the shoulder and then it'll go down a little bit and then I'll move it over like this here. And hopefully that looks like a good color. I want this to come in. Maybe I'll just, um, bring it out a little bit like that. And then I can move this line in a little bit so it matches. I want this to be a nice big voluminous color. So let's take a look without the sketch. Yeah, I like that shape better, I think. So I'll keep it <laughs> and then I'll do uh, over here. I might bring this out just a little bit more. I think it was pretty good to begin with. And then I'll move this down like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll move this over. And let's see, I'm going to do some kind of brooch, I guess. Uh, but like a simple one, probably just a circle within a circle kind of brooch where it's like a gem. And uh, you can see just the gem inside. So it's like another little one of those cheaty details that add to the look of it, but without actually taking too long to do. Um, and then I'll do her little, her little cape, her little shoulder cape. I have a red felt cape, I think is the, is the term for it. And, um, it was like a hand-me-down from my mother actually gave it to me. She had it and I kind of, uh, used it for a while to take my dog out and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I called it my little red riding hood cape because it did have a red hood and it just was like a, a sort of like a felt blanket. I'm taking a quick sip drink here. It was just a felt blanket with a, um, uh, like blanket stitch around it. <laughs> and then it had like a hood that was sort of just like the tip, the end of it, uh, the corner of the blanket sewed together to be a hood. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to check something real quick. Is that music still going? I guess so. <laughs> I see little, little beats of of the music pulsing in the background there. Um, so I will go ahead and just keep going like this. And uh, I think I, uh, the reason why I said red, I think I'll make her cape either red or black and her underclothes like red or something kind of Halloween-y. Um, I could go for just the traditional orange, I guess, but I think an orange cape would look a little weird. I'm not sure if people would pick an orange cape. Or I could go, since she's a ghost, the uh, ethereal route. Is ethereal the word? <laughs> Where it's, um, it's all about, uh, like, you know, looking pale and kind of, uh, majestic, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to define it. I'm not even sure if that's the right word I'm looking for. But yeah, so let's bring that in and we'll bring a wrinkle out here and I'll just click it in here using the anchor points and then we'll move it like that. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, no, actually I'm not, I'm not happy with that wrinkle at all. I'm, I, oops, I don't want to delete the whole thing. I'm going to bring it over like it's being interrupted by this thing. I think that'll be a little bit better. And I guess you should have a wrinkle over here, but I'm not going to put one in right now. We'll see if we want it later. We'll just put that little bit of a bend there and let's take a look. That looks pretty good. So uh, go onto her hand and just kind of keep palm through. I want to get this done. And then I do want to do some uh, either facial expressions or different face angles or both. <laughs> I think it would work out pretty nicely there. So let's go ahead and uh, bring that down like that. The shape of the fingers is always kind of hard to get sometimes, but I think that's probably a good finger shape. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't like that that line goes all the way down to meet there. So I'm going to bring that up. Sometimes just having the lines where they meet up <laughs> is like a different thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of people in here, but nobody's chatting. I wonder if they're just watching from their devices. <laughs> but if you want to have a uh, chat, if you have anything to say, feel free to say hi. <laughs> um, okay, so then we'll have this go here. Uh oh, my battery is, <laughs> I was waiting for it. My mouse has died. It will be forever, forever. I'll shut. I just got to pop it open. I have the batteries right here. I charged them. 
Uh, it actually started showing me the warning that it was running low last night. <laughs> And I don't put it, I don't change them out right away. I have put like rechargeable ones in. Um, but I think it's uh, kind of good to wear them down like a little bit. Not like till they're totally dead, but <laughs> this, if I had like clicked on it, I think I could have probably got some more juice out of it. I don't know. <laughs> so let's plop that in like that. Turn it back on and hope that it reconnects. <laughs> So we'll give it a second to reconnect. I have a backup plug-in mouse if I have to, but it is awfully loud. So <laughs> I am not a fan of it at all. And then of course I technically have my tablet, but I find doing the pen tool with a uh, tablet stylus a lot harder. Let's see, is this coming back? Oh, it's, it's back. <laughs> the mouse lives. It's a great, great thing. Um, yeah, so if anyone... Uh, let me see here. Let's get this going here. If anyone ends up coming by and wants <laughs> wants to chat, that would be fine with me. It's always kind of a hit or miss. Sometimes I'll come on these live streams and there'll be, um, you know, a couple people, a couple, seven, eight people. And then sometimes people, I think, get busy. It's uh, partly there's like school has started for a lot of people. So <laughs> I know that people are too busy to come on and stuff. But um, I would still like to do live streams in the future where I have someone come and talk <laughs> and we could do like a drawing competition or something that would be really fun. I have so many problems with technology though so it's a little bit frustrating. Um, like on my uh, Google Hang or my uh, on OBS I can't quite figure out how to add the audio from a Google Hangouts call or a Discord call or anything like that. Um, I just, I, I, I struggled so much just to get the music to play. <laughs> and all it was with the music was I had like a dot M, M, M4, MG4 or something. What? I don't, I can't think of that. <laughs> uh, it, is it MPEG? I, don't, I think I'm getting that confused with JPEG, but I had, you know, one of those like dots M something something files and you had to have a dot WAV file, which I think might be like Windows audio something. <laughs> so I didn't, I, it was just something I didn't know and it was kind of hard to think about. So I'm going to, it's, it's hard to like think about using the right files. <laughs> I have a Mac by the way, if that's confusing. Um, yeah, so let's have this go here. I think I'm going to have it come out her arm. I'm going to change it all up because I've decided it would be weird for it to come, suddenly come out like that. So I'm going to hide this and I'll show you what I mean. So now it's like coming in and then coming out and it'll be a little bit awkward like she's pinching her arms together, but I think it'll be okay. It needs to kind of go in front there to make sense. And I just had to think about it for a minute for that to work. So. Um, yeah, let's see. I hate when I can't grab that anchor point. I don't know what I do, but let's, uh, I want, I want that just the one anchor point. Don't be, don't be doing this to me. <laughs> they changed it. It used to be much better. I'll just warp it. I mean, I'll just transform it. <laughs> it used to be much better and they've changed a lot about the pen tool and I think it's, it was for the worst. But maybe I'm alone in thinking that. Actually, uh, now her now her arm will look a little broken. I think this is just coming out a little bit too too far. I was a little too generous with that, so <laughs> I'll move it in like this, and it'll be a little bit more of a natural bend. So we'll do that, and then we'll do that. I should probably use more references, <laughs> but I never do. So we'll have, um, we're going to lose all this shape here, but that'll, that'll be okay. I'll just have it kind of come out here. And on the plus side, we could have a little bit more of this fancy, uh, oops, I didn't mean to join those paths, but this fancy cape. So we'll have the cape go out like that and in like that. <laughs> I think that'll be good. And then we'll move it up. And yeah, I think that looks nice. I, I always say, <laughs> I think I'm going to bring it in like this, even though it will create some complex uh, 
line changes here with the hands. I'll just delete that. So that'll have gone in. Oops, didn't mean to mark that down. Let's take a look. Uh, I will have to delete this one here too as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just lining up those anchor points and deleting. <laughs> and yeah, so then I'll bring this here like that. And I think that looks nice and fancy. I guess her shoulder is a little bit too pointy. <laughs> I've tried to squeeze it in here and it looks a little strange. So I'm just going to, to round that out a bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. I just need to fill in her face and then I'll be able to keep going and work on other things. Uh, I mean, work on other angles. Um, so I'm going to just draw in her uh, eyebrow, eyelashes, eyelashes is the word that I'm looking for and move them over and then down and then up and then over and I think that looks pretty good and there we go um, because I have these like mindless sayings <laughs> like there we go <laughs> I don't know why I do that uh, I, I want this I've messed this up let's add another anchor point and bring it down because I want this to be like that I think that's a little better and then I'll do the same over here we'll get her eye going and then we'll bring this one up this time and then over uh, I always add like a little tiny thing there to like uh, show the corner of the eye <laughs> I think it's good so we'll move that up we'll move this up and yeah I think that looks pretty good then I'll add the little creases uh, over her eyes and we'll add one over here as well <laughs> and we'll add the little droop to her nose like that let's see if have I messed up her eye shape I've messed it up a little bit this goes in this is too far in let's just shape these up so she has some nicely shaped eyelashes and we'll go ahead and put them down like that and I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one over like this and then I'll do one like this very good and then I'll have my my eyes we are almost done then I'll be able to put some color in her I don't know if I will shade her uh, I might just do some base colors for now while I design the rest of her uh, I just thought it would be fun to have her here. So we got to do her eyebrows still and her finish off her nose and mouth and then I think she should be done. We can zoom out after I've inked her and see if there's anything that I've missed or <laughs> shouldn't have done. Um, let's see I want just to grab that in between there. It's not gonna let me. <laughs> it's okay. I will just bring it back over instead then. And oops didn't mean to do that. Let's move her eyebrow over here a little bit move this down and move this over and I think that's looking nice and then we'll go ahead and bring her nose up <laughs> over and we'll do this over here too as well there we go and then over to her mouth get the mouth in was this the last thing I think it might be the last thing <laughs> so let's do that and let's do this. I need to hide this because I think I've messed up her nose a wee bit. It's, I think it's good. So let's go ahead and look over here. Oh, I think we've missed the um, hair. So we'll do that like that. <laughs> and then I think that'll look good. There we go. I think that looks good. Let's transform and move her over. Yes, <laughs> I have messed up a little bit. I see it now. We just have to move in this cheek a little bit so her her face is looking a little bit strange here. But we'll fix that. And her eye is definitely looking strange. So we'll fix that as well. So let's take a look. Let me see. Let's stroke the path <laughs> and see where we're at after I do that. So hardness 100%, that's good opacity a hundred percent and I will make my size maybe about nine that's probably a little thick but let's see how bad yeah this this eye over here 
this one here is very, very messed up. So we just need to fix the little, she's got a little bit of the dirt by, but that is okay. Was the sketch okay? Let me, I thought the sketch looked pretty good. So I think, um, oops, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna move this free, transform it back over. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> this is the eye that I kind of messed up to begin with and then tried to fix. So let us redo it all so that it looks a little bit better. So I, I, didn't, I wanna come back to this sketch and bring this back out. I don't actually think it needed to come in much. I think this might need to come in just a little touch <laughs> and then um, move this over and give her eyes a better shape. This still needs to come in just a little bit. And so we'll do that, oops, like that. And I give her a little bit of shape, pointed shape there at the top. And we'll bring this in and then over. And then we'll do it like that. And then, oops, bring this in. I think since it's such a small drawing, I'm gonna take out that little stylistic corner thing. And I'll do the same over here. So she'll just have it go down. And that might help be a little bit more true to the sketch. And then she won't have such a derp eye. <laughs> so, um... Let me see, if I move this over just a touch, and then I have the circle of her eye over here, I think this will be a little bit better. So let's zoom this out and see how she looks now. I think she looks a little bit better now. Um, we'll give her a little transform, and we'll see there. Yeah, I think that's much better. So I'm, I'm happy enough with that now. And then I will just go ahead and do the line. I'm going to do this more like five, I think. And then, uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. I won't do the special like, line thickness trick that I sometimes do. I'm going to uh, fill subpass zero, get that nice and thick. And she's got her nice little happy smile now. I'll add some colors and then I'll start working on her um, her character design. Hello, server down. <laughs> uh, not much is happening. There was uh, some people at the beginning and then everyone had to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been talking to myself mostly. How are you doing today? Are you having a good day? I'm sneaking a drink of tea here. <laughs> uh, hello, Friday, you suck. I hope everyone is doing good. <laughs> there was someone who came on earlier that said they uh, their country was getting hit by a monsoon, and I thought, oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> um, I wonder, I guess I'll choose a background color first. Yeah, so I'm just designing a character. This is supposed to be like a ghost. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> but, uh, um, so, I think I've, 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 I've derped her arm in here a bit. <laughs> I see it now. That's okay. Um. It's just a concept design. I'm not worried too much about how the final looks. I'm trying to get some colors in and stuff and see how I want that to all look. And then I'll likely uh, change it. Have I picked a name? No, I I have, <laughs> I have like, um, let me see, let me bring up my, my little text document. I have like the outline for it and it just says main character. And then I put in parentheses MC, and then every time I reference her afterwards, <laughs> she's just MC. So if you want to name her, you go ahead. Um, yeah, she's just a ghost character. She lives in this house. I have, it's just the very bare bones. And I, I've mentioned earlier, that this is the fourth comic that I'm working on. And I, I'm, I'm working on um, the Undertale fan comic, which is, I think, 14 pages in now. I have my other one that I just keep pushing back. I have one that's almost done that's another short. <laughs> so then I've started this one because I'm crazy. <laughs> and I never want to actually finish them apparently. So yeah, I think I was going to go with like a nice red for her cape color. I don't have it all even properly selected. Um, yeah, so let's just grab these colors. Do you ever do that server <laughs> down? Do you take on way too many projects and then you're like, why am I doing all these <laughs> at the same time? That is certainly a downfall for me. Um, so the choices are, it could look very cool to have a white cape. And that would be kind of ghostly, but uh, yeah, I think we go with white. I know it's kind of a Halloween-y thing. She's gonna have very pale skin 
And the secret to that without making it look gray, I think, is just giving it like a slightly yellow tint rather than red. We'll see how this works because maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm lying. I don't want it to be quite that yellow. It's just slightly, yeah, I think that looks really pale without it looking like, <laughs> like really uh, gray. Taking a quick drink again. I wonder what color her hair should be. Uh, I missed a couple little spots of skin here. <laughs> Let me just grab those real quick. I should probably have fixed this this arm. Her her right arm or her left arm rather is looking a little special. <laughs> to answer your question, I've been putting off my uh, sign. Uh, how do you say that? <laughs> Cyniclon's motto comic dub for over three months, even though I only have six more pictures to draw. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Um, I, I'm not so bad at, like, slowly working on things, but I'm a terrible, like, finisher of projects. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I finished the, my last one, Cyniclonith. Or semi clones. <laughs> Even when you break it up, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, it's just so wonderful. I have no reading comprehension. <laughs> Let's see, what color hair should she have? I think maybe. Uh, I don't know. My go to for some reason is always red. <laughs> I don't know if I want to give her red hair because I always do that. Um, I'll just send something later. <laughs> Oh, uh, the she look a little bit strange. I'm not sure if I like the red hair. Let's just I'm gonna go to um, hue saturation and play with it. You guys won't be able to see the window because frustratingly OBS never shows the window. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> what color should her hair be? Uh, maybe like a blue, but I also do blue a lot. Maybe a purple. Purple red. <laughs> Orange and purple is a typical Halloween scheme color. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I could do... Well, I gave my my witch character last year... Um, let's give her like a sort of orange blonde hair. I think this will <laughs> lend more to the ghost look. And I'm not totally sold on doing this white color either because I'm a little bit worried that she's just going to be like totally washed out if I do any background scenes. Especially if there's uh, like a dusty gray <laughs> house that she's living in. So let me see. I might not. Uh, maybe I could do um, the cape different than the dress and I have to blow this up for a second and close off these Oops, with black. <laughs> close that off so I can get just the cape. Um, so do you think I should do something like her, her, her cape purple maybe? <laughs> I could give it a blue tint. Yeah, I was thinking about giving her a blue aura at the end and that's pretty easy to do if you didn't know you, um, <laughs> uh, you click on, you, you hit command or what, maybe it's, uh, alt? <laughs> I don't know what the Windows version, uh, equivalent is. And you click on your layer. And then you go to cl uh, select, modify, um, expand, and we'll like expand by 15, and then you feather it by say 100, and then in a background layer, you can give her a really quick aura like this. And I know she's going to show through, and that's my <laughs> my little cheaty way. I might do something like that um, in the future to give her like the ghostly look. But uh, for now, right now, I'm just going to finish <laughs> picking her colors. I think um, her cape, maybe I will make it purple. Because I, I do think purple and yellow, at least, which I, I think I've grown on that hair color, <laughs> will be a good um, be a good combo, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and let's see here. It's going to give it a little bit of a gradient. Oops. i got to pick this. And then it's looking a little bit strange. Oh, because I have it on the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> uh, is that purple? Maybe that's a little too saturated. Let's just pick one or the other for now. I think I will make it a little less saturated. I'm just going to make her a little bit dull because she's a ghost. 
I've never figured out how to do that. I'll check it back later. Yeah, if you ever have um, any questions on anything in Photoshop, I'd be happy to, <laughs> to answer them because I know uh, I know so many shortcuts that I think make the difference on on being able to be a little more productive, <laughs> like actions and stuff. And yeah, so <laughs> if you have any questions ever, or if you need any help with kind of like coloring in your stuff, you should let me know. <laughs> since I still feel like I kind of owe you. I think I'll give her some nice like eerie blue eyes. Those might like work for that. And let me see here. I think I'm happy with that actually. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give her kind of this black centerpiece here. And I think I'm not gonna go with the gray on her shirt either. I think I might even make this cape a little less. <laughs> saturated. Um, I could do the purple. Let's do the, Let's try the purple on the dress instead and then see how we like that. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. And then uh, what about a black or gray cape? That might look kind of nice. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm always so indecisive. I could do... Um, Let's take the saturation away right now and see what the gray cape would look like. I guess I am kind of going back to liking it when it was white. <laughs> so maybe I'll give her a white cape, a little bit of a purple dress, I might make it even lighter, and then just kind of have her be these very pale ghostly colors. And then um, let me see here. Uh, something like that maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll leave those up and we'll see if they grow on me. I'm going to do a few little sketches of her and then I think I'll just draw the first page of the comic. Taking another quick sip. Um, let's put another sketch layer too on and then I'll see about... Uh, yeah, let's do a couple angles of her face. I'm, I'm always thinking. <laughs> so when I go quiet and I go, uh, uh, um... I think I will give her kind of a couple different different layers. I wonder what, what uh, oh, angles of her face. I wonder what angles I should draw her from. Let's see. I'm going to make my color maybe a green. <laughs> and that's not going to show. <laughs> Let's make it nice and dark so it'll show on this background like that. And uh, let's just do black. <laughs> Oh, because I have my opacity way down. Let's do a gray black. I can't even pick the sketching color. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll, I guess we'll do one of her profile. We'll have that going for us here. And I'm just going to sketch a couple different uh, face shapes out and then do the, <laughs> the head. So we'll, I'll have one like that. Uh, have one facing. I think I'll make that a little bit bigger. Whoops. So that we can have her to the side and then her face over here. One facing forward is always a good one. And I'm just going to use the old ellipse tool for that one. <laughs> make it nice and even. And then I can add my guidelines here. Give her a nice face shape here. If I can sketch that in. Am I using a mouse or tablet? Um, yeah, I'm using a Wacom Intuos 4 tablet, I think is the name. And it's uh, it's kind of old, but it, it serves its purpose. Um, and it was kind of like the professional, not professional grade, but it was better than like the, the, it was one step up from the cheaper grade when I first bought it. And it served me well. I don't think I could do, I've done some mouse challenges. <laughs> And it just, it's not like it's impossible, but it's definitely much harder to draw with a mouse. Is that what you'd use um, to work on yours? If you do draw with a mouse, I would suggest learning the pin tool. That's why I learned it to begin with, because I originally started um, with a mouse. <laughs> and I would typically sketch them on paper and then scan them in, but then I learned the... Um, you honestly hate using mine. I always use a mouse. I guess I'm just used to it. 
<laughs> I feel like I don't have control with the mouse. Um, the tablet gets, if you're used to drawing like traditionally, the tablet is definitely uh, difficult to um, <laughs> get used to, I guess. Uh, the problem I usually typically have with it is that, um, <laughs> like, you, you, you lose, like, your fine motor skills, which is why I have to learn, like, when I do these sketches, see how this is all messy. It, it's really hard to draw, like, a line that's not all wavy and stuff. <laughs> so that's why I usually draw with a tablet, and then I use the pen tool. <laughs> So it, it's definitely something that you have to get used to. Um, I do not use the tablet. It's not very well calibrated as part of it, but I don't use it for, um, <laughs> I don't know, like like the pen tool and all the like fine work stuff. I actually still use my mouse. So I, I understand that. <laughs> um, do you ever draw uh, by hand and then sketch it in? Is that what you mean by you do that? <laughs> I talk so much because I, I feel weird about leaving like radio silence, but then I, I forgot what you said. Actually, I'm going to flip this around um, and do this from this side. And I think I'll have like one where it's like up at an angle. So she's looking up. So I might as well change it like this. A uh, bit off topic, did I notice that Blake changed his username? No, I didn't notice that. Did he? Uh, he commented on, on something a while back. <laughs> and uh, let me take a quick drink here. My throat gets all dry. And then I have to like, you know, <laughs> drink a little bit so it's not clicking. Uh, what did he change it to? Because he commented a while back and I thought it was still Blake... Uh, Proto. I, I, I swear to this day, I always have to be like, don't say potato. <laughs> I am terrible. Um, after the potato incident, he changed it. Oh, did he? Protato? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel so bad. Was this my fault? I hope not. He seems to be like he has a good sense of humor. I actually have another comic. We thought it was funny. Oh. <laughs> It, it's, I, I'm, I'm dumb. I will accept being a laughing clown over being like mad at because I'm stupid. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, I actually have another comic. I don't know if I told you guys there's a, a German guy and I cannot think of his name. Dino Dubs maybe. And he tried out originally for the, uh, character Axel in my Halloween one. You know it. I'm just saying for the audience sakes. I did the mystical last year and uh, I had it dubbed and he was, uh, you know, he, he tried out for it and he was really nice and I ended up going with Blake mostly because, um, like he, he wouldn't respond very fast. So I was never like really sure. <laughs> uh, anyways, my point is that, uh, I wanted to do like another thing. He, he contacted me and said, you know, if you have any other comics, <laughs> let me know and I'll do another voice. So I actually wrote another comic and I'm almost done with it really where um, I wrote basically three characters so that you and Blake and him could voice it if you guys are interested. So um, yeah, on, on top of the Undertale fan comic that I'm doing with you guys, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think these are good angles. This is going to be, I've drawn this in because it's actually going to be like up a little bit, like I'll have it. <laughs> Just talking about the angles of the face. I'll have that one there. I'll have the profile here. I'll have this one here. Let's do a fourth face too. And um, we'll just have it like be a... <laughs> I'm running out of room here. It would just be like a normal... Um, no, we'll, we'll have it like a down facing thing here. So we'll have like some interesting angles to work with. And I'll just kind of put it down here like this. And I might have to draw these on a separate layer. Maybe I can move her over a little bit. <laughs> um, like that. So yeah, that other comic, it, it's just about like, I, I call I did like a little bit of a speed paint on here a while back called Rivals. And I don't know if I'm going to actually call it Rivals, but it's kind of like what that is. <laughs> and so I'd have the two, um, sort of rival classmates. <laughs> and then, uh, if you were interested, you could voice the, um, sister character. 
and she shows up in there. There's not a lot of lines. It's a very short comic, but I thought it would be a fun little project to work on. <laughs> so I'll just, just put that out there, I guess. Okay, so I think, I think these are good for her angles. And let's see, is that all I'm on sketch still? <laughs> You have a new mic now, so my sound quality is way up. Oh, that's great! I still am using this this little <laughs> derpy Samson Go mic. Uh, I've been thinking about getting another one, but I I'm so poor I can't <laughs> I can't really justify that. Um, so, what kind of new mic did you get? Is it like a a more professional grade, or is it just a little bit just out of curiosity? <laughs> taking a quick drink there. I always have to announce it. I don't know, that's probably annoying, but it's like this impulsive thing <laughs> that I do. I don't know what's up with me. So, um, let me see here. I'm going to give her, yeah, this, this will be nice, uh, to start with the profile. I always think that profiles are easy. <laughs> the new one is cheaper than the Samsung Go. Blue Snowball with a Dragon Pad pop filter. Is it cheaper naturally or did you get like a special deal where it was on sale? And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Just out of curiosity. If I'm asking you too many nosy questions or you don't want to answer, you could just be like, mm, change the topic. <laughs> I always feel a little bit bad for asking people like personal questions on the live streams because uh, it kind of puts them in a spot. <laughs> I don't know if the kind of mic you use is necessarily personal, but. Um, so let's get this like this and just kind of sketching her in. I did not get a very good, uh, into the guide area here, but that's okay. We'll put that in like that. And then her eyes will be sketched like this. Uh, oh, I think my, my, my computer is a little bit delayed. Uh, I think it's like 50, the dragon pad is 10. No, don't feel bad. <laughs> That's why I do these these live streams. I, well, I've been a little bit um, behind on YouTube lately on catching up on, on the videos and the comics. <laughs> I mean, the comments and stuff. So I've been doing these live streams kind of as like an intermedium so people don't <laughs> think I died or something. So uh, it's always nice when people come on and want to talk and stuff. I feel like a little bit strange <laughs> sometimes. I, I just sit here and I talk to myself and I'm like, so now I'm going to open this up and, and do this. And yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so um, unless that was your your cheeky way of saying, nah, I, <laughs> I feel bad for distracting you. I'll, I'll, I better go. <laughs> um, hello, Eve Harvey Art. How are you doing today? We're just going through some different face angles on these comics and talking about mics. Um, I've never heard of a blue snowball mic. I, I thought $50, but I thought the Samson, when I bought it off Amazon, I thought it was about $40, but maybe the price has gone up or maybe I'm misremembering that. Um, but uh, yeah, it does sound like good deals. It's great. Um, I'm doing good, Eve. <laughs> just sketching this up. I've got her mouth a little bit weird here. I'm gonna have to fix it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've started another comic because I'm crazy. <laughs> and I never finish any of them, but I've been working on a lot of them, so I'm worried that they're all gonna finish at the same time, and then I'm gonna have to, like, um, what is it like when you <laughs> sparsely post things? I don't even know where, if I'm gonna post these for Halloween or what. I think that's good. And, uh, give her a little bit of lips. Like that. <laughs> Hello, Squishy Samper. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing, Eve? Are you having a good day? And I've actually been pondering whether I should give you my Discord because I've been considering doing a kind of collab with you. Uh, oh yeah, that's good. I I just remembered I have been doing a collab with someone else. <laughs> I'm very bad at checking my Discord and my Twitter. I don't have a smartphone, so I don't have, like, a device that keeps track of it. <laughs> like, notifies me when there's new things. But yeah, we should definitely exchange my Discord. I'm just, uh, Miss Art Garden? I can look it up right now. People keep asking me about it. How are you doing today, Squishy? Are you having a nice day? <laughs> uh, Discord. I'm gonna open it up. 
It has like a little number, right? <laughs> um, let me see here. I'm, I'm opening it. So <laughs> if people, I, I wonder, is there, I put some music on. I hope that's still going. Oh, that, I have some message from Sandra's Art Life. This is, she's been trying to get do a collab with me for like a month and I keep forgetting to check. I feel so bad. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, Miss Art Garden, and it's number 8070. I'll put it in here. I don't know if this is like a secret. You're not supposed to give this number away. <laughs> uh, but, um, it is a secret. <laughs> oh no. Well, hopefully people won't be bugging me too bad. Uh, I'll put that in there. I think you can block people, and it's not like I'm I'm very famous <laughs> or anything. So if uh, anyone catches hold of that, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> you did your first collab the other day, and it was cool to do. <laughs> I know there's like an invite invitation. I've sent that up for people, but I guess it um, it uh, um, like what's the car where it like expires or whatever and that might have been what was happening so then people were like what's your number <laughs> and I've just been giving it out I didn't know if it was like a secret but hopefully I won't get hacked now I don't, I don't know <laughs> if it has anything to do with anything it's just um I thought it was just something for people to search with but I guess I'll find out when I wake up and the uh <laughs> everyone's everyone's gone into it um, yeah. So your collab, was it the, uh, I'd be like posting your phone number kind of. <laughs> Hello, Henry Hoover, ABC. I'm glad to see you. Is it? Well, I don't know. I don't have, I don't even have the, the app downloaded. I just use it on the browser. I, I don't think anyone's gonna, uh, find out really. I don't know how many people come back and watch these. <laughs> But it's okay if people want to bug me there. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of trolls. You can block people on Discord, right? I don't have anyone that talks to me on it right now. <laughs> um, so how are you doing, Henry Hoover ABC? I'm giving away personal information, apparently. <laughs> My Discord number. That's okay. Nobody can... Or, I mean, I don't even know if people can call on that. <laughs> if they can, it's okay. Um... I'll just note you. Yeah, you can block people. So then if I get any trolls, I'll just block them. <laughs> I don't use Discord. I don't know anything about it. I know you can make calls on it, uh, but no, I've never made a call with anyone. I've called people on Google Hangouts. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so let's see what, I think this is not, this is looking a little bit, <laughs> a little bit strange. I want to get her eyes a little bit more like that. And her chin over here is looking very masculine, so I'm gonna have to shrink that in. One of those things where I was like kind of drawing distracted, so I'm, I'm terrible at citing my mistakes. But we'll have that like this, and we'll give her a nice little smile like that. And then we'll give her her hair, which will help make her look a little bit more like herself. <laughs> These are still in the concept phase, so I'm not too worried about it looking exactly the same every time yet. You're very well. I hope you are okay as well. Yeah, I've been a little bit behind on YouTube <laughs> and trying to catch up, but um, I've been saving up videos to watch later and stuff. And I was talking about how my schedule is st finally starting to clear up. So I'm looking forward to probably spending the rest of the weekend <laughs> going through that and finally catching up and just, uh, I think it'll be a good time. So let me see here. I'll get my, her, her eye looks very strange. I think I'm going to fix it like that so she doesn't look so sleepy <laughs> so um i forgot to add people how to add people <laughs> well, thank you yeah i'm just doing a little bit of a uh, comic design for i guess i've drawn this wrong her hair will be shorter on this side and longer on this side so yeah for like a little halloween comic design idea i was drawing uh, a ghost <laughs> and i kind of did this thing over here and now I'm just kind of drawing her for different angles. I had a bit, um, yeah, just having a little bit of fun. <laughs> Are you having a nice weekend? I hope so. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. 
trying to think here. Um, how the hair would go. <laughs> okay, so this would be back. I'm just going to kind of sketch this in out of order a little bit to try to place it all in. So that would be going back. Her hair would be like this, and then it would be going down. And then the front area, this would be shorter. <laughs> this would be longer. So we'll have this actually go into her uh, face a little bit more on this side. And that'll work. Her eyebrows would be there. <laughs> I always forget the eyebrows, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so something like that. I think that looks a little bit more like a sketch. I <laughs> had to like reverse engineer it from the opposite side here. <laughs> um, did you send it as a request? I've already closed out a Discord, haven't I? Yes, I think I have. <laughs> Discord map.com. I'll go back. I'll check these out later. <laughs> make sure. I also have a Facebook that I finally signed up for just for like Miss Art Garden. And it's, um, <laughs> I don't, I think I logged on, I put a profile picture up and then I never logged on again. <laughs> I hope they don't deactivate because I think you're like a troll account when you do that. Um, but yeah, I have Facebook and I miss Art Garden on Facebook too. And I have my Twitter, which I, I've been very bad about checking lately, and that's at Miss Art Garden. So if you're looking for me anywhere, it's a good bet it's just going to be like at Miss Art Garden. <laughs> um, and you guys can talk to me on anywhere. If I don't respond, you can leave like a comment on one of my videos and be like, yo, I hit you up here. But I'm very bad. <laughs> um, yes, I have pending. Okay, so. I'll learn Discord one of these days, just in time for me to give all my personal information on it away. <laughs> you use Instagram? I had a Facebook and haven't been on for three years. Yeah, I can't... I have an Instagram, but I can't access it like on desktop, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> so it's kind of in limbo too. Um, it seems to be the new, the new trend. I also have a Reddit, but I don't really know how to use Reddit either. <laughs> One of these days I'll figure all these crazy things out. Um, yeah, so I think that's good for just the concept of her side. Let's do one of her front. <laughs> and then I'm just going to sketch these out real quick and then I'll probably just do a little quick front page kind of thing. That might be just even if I just sketch it out. <laughs> just to get it started, just to have a little fun. It's always nice coming on and talking and seeing all these people. Um, <laughs> so I think a lot of people do use Instagram more than anything nowadays. I'm going to take a quick sip here. My throat gets so dry. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people do use Instagram. I don't know if it's, uh, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> It's owned by Facebook, but I don't know how different it is from Facebook because I don't even really know Facebook even though I just said I signed it up for an account. Like you, Eve, I had one years ago. This will this will age me a bit. <laughs> when they first came out, I think they were only for Harvard kids, and then they made them for if only if you had if you were in college. And I got one then, and they they were still kind of new. <laughs> And that was my original Facebook page. And then they like became public and I just lost interest and I never went on to it. So I don't know if it's still around even. <laughs> but I probably have one on there that I haven't logged on in like five years. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like that. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you're trying to dis to, uh, understand discord. I feel like I've really been uh, l lacking on figuring out apps. I don't know. Facebook, I've, I have so many problems with YouTube. Some of it is I, I have a lot of outdated equipment like computer wise and stuff <laughs> that um, a lot of stuff gets very frustrating to figure out. I have to find like workarounds. Like as I'm sure you've noticed for some reason when I use this there's like little black boxes that flash and I cannot for the life of me figure out what those are <laughs> when I'm live streaming I've, I've tried to like fix those and I don't know how to fix those so little things like that it just kind of builds up in a frustrating thing but I just keep going there's not not a lot I can do about some of that stuff <laughs> I've googled it several times um, 
Instagram is literally just where you post pictures on your account. So it's really good for art accounts and you can use hashtags so people can find your posts and it's so cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I knew that it was like a picture thing. I didn't know if it had like a wall or anything. Um, I'm just so, I'm so unhip. <laughs> Someone help me be hip. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's the way to go. So we'll give her this kind of happy face here. Um, I'm going to give her like a little bit of a bridge nose there. Give her some eyebrows from this angle, even though I might cover her hair up in a minute. Um, yeah, I think it would be nice to get Instagram because then I could post my stuff. I don't really have, someone asked me a while back if I had like a central thing where I post all my art. And for a while I was doing it on DeviantArt and then DeviantArt kind of died. <laughs> it's kind of a dead website at least my account maybe died. I went on it for a while every day and then people just stopped, I guess, showing up. So I stopped kind of posting there. It's a little discouraging when you don't have anyone to talk to and stuff. Um, so I should find something else. Uh, it's possible that I could do Instagram and then upload it from like my tablet, but I've never tried that before. But maybe that's what I should do in the future. <laughs> um, it doesn't feel dead to you. I think part of it is that I've been on for a really long time and I had a lot of uh, friends that just kind of left and they were like the ones that I would talk to every day. So I come on now and I still get people like if I post that will like my stuff and make a comment or something. <laughs> I guess I don't feel like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll check out their posts and I'll comment and then I guess I just don't feel like it's quite as busy as it was. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm hallucinating. I should give it more of a chance. But just like when my schedule got busy, just like YouTube kind of suffered, DeviantArt kind of suffered. I was thinking about doing a contest on there, but I'd have to get some points. Because <laughs> um, that's always kind of fun. You got on a year ago. See, I've had my account since 2014, I think. So that was, sheesh, was that? It's four years ago. <laughs> And I think all the original people that I made friends with have just kind of moved on and that's why it feels dead to me. Um, I had an account way back when too that was like my secondary account that's also pretty, pretty dead. I, uh, I don't know how I've really drawn her crowded in here but that's okay. Um, and I want to get her hair and like this around her. Uh, so maybe I should give DeviantArt a second chance. Hi, Cora, son. <laughs> I'm always so nervous I'm saying your names wrong. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. We're talking about whether we think DeviantArt is dead or not. <laughs> um, and I, I was mentioning, I think a lot of original people that I was friends with on there and following uh, have kind of left. So it feels a little dead to me, but maybe I'm being unfair and saying that and I should give it a second <laughs> chance. I'd like to go on <laughs> uh, more often, but do you have a DeviantArt account? I probably, if you do, I hope I'm watching you. <laughs> Take a quick drink here. Um, trying to decide. I guess I'll do this face angle. I have to like picture it in my head for a minute and think about it. <laughs> um, Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to draw it a little bit more to the side than I've implied here though, like another like profile pic. So we'll do it like, so her nose comes in here and then sticks out a bit like this and then comes down. Um, I read somewhere that you're not supposed to put your links to other places on in your descriptions anymore because people's channels were getting banned f for spam, but I think it would be nice if I could start putting them in and then I could probably get more <laughs> friends to talk with and stuff on other social networking places. <laughs> um, that's funny, you just thought about DeviantArt today. <laughs> Do you think it's a little bit less active than it was? I was thinking it was, but Server Down says she thinks it's the same as always. And she probably has a lot more of a, uh, you know, uses it more than me, so she probably is a little bit more knowledgeable of the fact <laughs> than me. 
Is DeviantArt free to use? Yes, you can sign up for an account. There's a premium account, and I, I think I have the premium account because um, someone gave me a bunch of points a while back. But I think it's uh, it's mostly free. You just have to look at ads that way. <laughs> um, You have links to my Instagram and in my description all the time and my I'm just risking it with the channel banning thing yeah I think that's it too someone like for a while I had like this thing where I think three people told me that my comments were just going straight into their spam and so for a while I had like kind of this freak out moment I'm like oh no my because someone said that means that your channel is about to get banned or something so I was like very worried about it but I think it was only those three accounts because I started. I found a little way where you can like check from another browser if the comments going through, and all the comments that I checked were going through fine. So I think that was just like a weird thing. And then later I found out if they delete any of your comments or if they, um, you know, don't respond to them or something, and you put a bunch on there, it just starts going into their likely spam filter. So it might have just been people that I was. Um, you know, commenting on their videos and they, they were either deleting them or ignoring them or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so I don't worry too much about that anymore. Um, oh, you have, you just tried to make an account and you already had one. <laughs> I, I hate when that happens. Like you try and they're like, this email address is already in use. Silly. <laughs> uh, it's because I wanted to follow uh, Caleb Hales? Is he a uh, musician? Um, <laughs> well, that's okay. You can. Everyone's free to go. Come and go as they want. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I'm doing a terrible job drawing these face angles. <laughs> it's like one of those things like I'm when I get into the, the zone I can usually work out how to draw these angles but Right now, I'm kind of wishing I had a reference. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we'll just, I'm going to just make up, mark them up, make them kind of messy and, and badly <laughs> drawn, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to zoom out and try to see what's wrong with it and then fix it then. So, I want her, her, uh, to look like she's looking up. So, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. Uh, her chin would be visible here. And you'd have like, I'll draw a few little shadow lines to help me <laughs> picture this and then so this would be coming back her her neck might be a little bit further out like that uh, put her smiling like that her nose is way too big <laughs> I think this is coming together more correctly this all needs to come out a little more let's see this is Oh yeah, a lot of the comments I get on my channel go to the spam, but apparently it's if you use sub in your comment. Yeah, uh, someone said that, but I wasn't using sub. So people said you have to watch at least two minutes, but I typically watch it all the way through, even if I just kind of put it up on my computer and then go do something else. Um, and then uh, they said if you, you have to watch two minutes, you can't use the word sub or follow and there's or watch or something like that and I, I looked at the comments they were talking about and they like show up as they went through for me but they didn't go through so I don't know maybe some of my comments are going to spam uh, my best guess was that what would happen is I would answer the comments on my channels like in a rapid fire way like I'd just be like thanks thank you that means so much or whatever <laughs> or I'd just respond to them so I'd have like answered like maybe you know 100 comments in the last hour and then I'd go watch videos and comment on them and I think if I had to guess that's what was getting marked as spam it's like too many comments in a at a certain time oh hello RR Fine Art how are you let's see haven't heard anything uh, I haven't heard about this thing with links when did this happen um, I follow a girl named uh, uh, Death Lake I think is her screen name and she got her channel banned for spam and she just got like a generic thing. <laughs> um, I gotta keep working trying to figure out these face angles. Uh, and she thought it was because she put like a wall of 
uh, links at the bottom of her videos where she put her Instagram and her Twitter and all those and stuff. So she was warning the rest of us to <laughs> take ours down because we could get flagged for spam. I didn't, um, I didn't, uh, <laughs> ever take mine down. I don't, I'm usually kind of lazy and I just don't add them. <laughs> Um, are you having a nice day? Or I guess it's night maybe where you are, our, our fine art? Or is it evening? I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out face angles here as I kind of draw up this character. Um, and I might just kind of go with starting on the first comic page soon. So I, I want this to look, uh, I just wanted some references of how her face would go. Sometimes I think it's good if you look up, like, some other people have made charts of, like, character sheets. <laughs> and I might need to reference those, because I, I think I'm striking out a bit on these proportions. <laughs> but that's okay. I've been drawing a ghost character. I had to clear my throat there, sorry. Um... Oh, I missed, um, server down. Sorry, I just had a bit of a freak out moment. Turns out my hero followed me on Instagram and I didn't know. Oh, that's so great. I love when that happens. You like really admire someone and then they like give you attention and you're like, I feel so validated in my life now. <laughs> that's the best. I'm really glad for you. Do you want to say who your hero is? You don't have to. <laughs> um, Oh, I know. Yeah, she got her channel back. She said she went on Reddit and was asking people about, uh, like, you know, what to do or something, saying that all her, um, uh, what are they called when you, like, you try to challenge it, <laughs> I guess, challenges, were being ignored. And this person said um, they work for YouTube and they'll get it fixed. And then I guess it was fixed the next day. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who that person was, but I hope she <laughs> she remembered them <laughs> in case she has problems again. Sounds like a really nice person to go out of their way like that. Um, I can understand if you write. You can only understand if I write. Oh, Caleb Hales. Is that, is it in, is he, I'm gonna google him. <laughs> is he a magician? Ma not magician, musician? I, I have like weird mumbled mouth. <laughs> Um, or Caleb Hales. Am I even saying that right? <laughs> um, am I talking too fast? I'm sorry, RR. I know that not everyone is, um, fluent in English. I will make a... Oh, he's an artist. Yeah, he is, um... He's, he's got albums, so... Uh, yeah, I know not everyone... is uh everyone's getting blocked <laughs> so i'm getting distracted to reading those sorry uh hello lemon scratch <laughs> i think you're you're getting censored there um i know everyone on here is not a first english as a first language and i know i kind of go really motor mouth manic so i'll try to talk a little bit slower all right eve harvey art i hope you had a great time <laughs> i guess it's like it's like a social event <laughs> i hope you have a great day and enjoy your weekend and thank you for stopping by it was great talking with you um <laughs> how are you doing today lemon scratch I still haven't figured out, I was talking earlier, I really want to be able to add an audio source and have people come on and we could do like drawing competitions. I think it would be fun, but I have not figured out how to get OBS to do that. OBS is not my friend. <laughs> I still can't figure out how to get rid of those black twitchy boxes on the, on the picture. Um, so let's see, I'm going to have her hair come out like this. This is like just badly sketched in drawings. I'm trying to give her some character sheet development here. Um, so we'll have her hair like that. I think that's okay if we just have it sketched in. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have this. This is going to be my little ghost character. I, I Now that I've zoomed out, I see <laughs> all the problems with this. She's got a very flat head. I'm just going to, I'm just going to move this down actually. 
and then I'll fix it uh, like this. <laughs> All right, well, I guess Eve has left, but goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if you're still there, but if you are, bye-bye. Uh, let's see. I, I don't know if I have a device that can even use Instagram. Yeah, that's my problem is I don't have a smartphone. I have a very old tablet. I'm a very, very poor <laughs> person at the moment. So um, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> we can commiserate together about uh, about not having something that can use it. You can technically uh, get one on your computer and then like I think you can like send forward it to like a smartphone or a device, smart device, which is what I've thought about doing but I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about it really. <laughs> so um, let's see. We could do a Discord group and then you could screen share as you draw. Is that... yeah, I, I should do that because uh, right now what I do is I put um, Photoshop as a window capture and it's... Um, yeah, it, it just like it only captures for some reason certain things like if I go into like a liquify filter or something it won't capture that. <laughs> and it's a little frustrating. But I don't want it to capture my whole desktop because I have like a mess, like I have my OBS open over here and I have my chat open there and I think it would be weird for people to see that, so <laughs> I gotta figure it all out. I think you'd have to go on Discord or TS or something like that and then record your desktop audio. Yeah, I, I think Corison, Corison? I'm still so paranoid I'm saying that wrong. I think she's definitely a, a much better OBS <laughs> knowledge expert than I am. Take a quick drink there. My tea is very cold. <laughs> uh, let's fund her to be filthy rich. <laughs> we'll start like a GoFundMe campaign on how not to be a poor artist. <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta remember to speak a little bit slower. So well, I'll do this one last thing. The one last thing here. <laughs> one last face angle. And uh, then I'll probably... Move on. I think it's okay. This I, this is definitely not my best quality of drawing, but there's something about drawing live where <laughs> it's it's a little bit more distracting. I think it's just you know being um, distracted, I guess, or just not being like in the zone where you can sit there and you can get up and you can take it away, take a minute and stretch. And <laughs> I feel like my 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 speaking skills get less and less as I go on to. Um, yeah, is our Lemon Scratch, his comment was blocked, but it says, uh, the hurricane is here. <laughs> Are you in that area? Is there a hurricane near Hong Kong? Or am I not supposed to say where you're from? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't think the only way to fix that is to get a second screen if you don't want OBS to show. I have, like, a very old... Um, desktop computer. Maybe I could look into like seeing if I could open it up as a second screen. The um, problem with that is I need like better real estate. Like my desk is very small so <laughs> I would have to figure out um, how to maneuver that so I could have it up. But it might be interesting to try that. Uh, I don't maybe I don't know would it even hook up to the, uh, the internet? I don't think you would need to as a second screen. All, all of these are questions I, I don't know the answers to. <laughs> um, I'm really messing up this nose. I was gonna smaller like this. It's free real estate. <laughs> um, there's a Hurricane Florence I was talking about earlier uh, in Florida right now. I know that's kind of bad and I know there's one I think in the Philippines they said was like 500 miles wide. Well, that seems pretty scary, uh, but hopefully everyone is safe and no one is getting their their houses damaged or anything like that. Um, that'd be pretty pretty scary, I think, to live in that that area when that stuff was going on. Just trying to get this here like that. This nose is <laughs> not, not anything like her other nose. Um, 
I think I need to move her eyes up a bit. They're just a little too far down. So I'll just do that real quick. It just needs to plug into your computer and a socket. Okay, I should look into that because I really do have some struggling problems with it. Um, so I guess I'd look into it. I, I suppose you would use that as your the screen that you show or <laughs> if the other one is the internet thing. I, I should look into that. It's like an old uh, one of those iMac the white ones, if that makes sense. The, like big boxy white ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't know. I think you can get some screens now for like, I mean, it's not like it's cheap, it's like $200 if you were really dedicated to this. <laughs> so I should look into it. I think it would be fun. Do you use two screens, uh, Corazon? 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I guess the fill is the same as ours. I know it's very um, rainy and stuff in the east coast of America right now. Hopefully, hopefully no one's getting too bad. Mother Nature is very <laughs> unforgiving sometimes. This is, uh, I think I might just go, <laughs> maybe I'll just work on the first page because these are all kind of, I'm, I'm losing my touch here <laughs> a little bit. Uh, what what did our hair even look like? Okay, it's longer on that side than this side. So I guess I'll draw this here. I did really mean to give her such a like smirky <laughs> look here. It just sort of happened. But that's okay. She is she's just a little smirky there. Um, you don't have much experience with Max. Yeah, I've had I have had Max, I don't know. They're just what I get. <laughs> Some of it was in, I, I got like a special deal when I bought my first mic, uh, Mac, and then I felt like really used to them. I do have to say, it's probably blasphemy, but I think Mac computers have really gone downhill, or just Apple has really gone downhill lately. Um, they, they, uh, I need to like draw her heads. <laughs> they uh, seem to be having some some user-friendly issues and stuff and I think that their uh, services have gone gotten a little bit down but I'm not really a fan of Windows I have a lot of problems with Windows I don't think they're super reliable either so <laughs> it's hard I wish I was smart enough to build my own computer put my own graphic cards and stuff in <laughs> um, The hurricane is still coming and it feels strong. 200 kilometers an hour wind speed. It will be closest tomorrow. Um, huh. I'm trying to think of 200 kilometers an hour. That sounds really fast. Like 80 miles per hour maybe? I have to convert it in my head. Uh, you use a second screen and it's so much easier. Yeah, I've been missing your streams lately, which is really kind of a bummer because I've been putting them on when I, um, I have like a crochet project <laughs> and I've been putting you on when I'm doing the crochet and I haven't worked on that crochet project because I keep missing your streams. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just kind of put that in. She, she looks a little silly. Maybe we'll give her her cape here. She looks a little silly in this last one. I think it's okay. I, I, generally, I, I'm gonna, um, I think what I'm gonna do, can I zoom this out? Is, is it gonna freak out? I hope that I'm not gonna mess up. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll see. Let me turn on my thing here. I'm gonna make this a little bigger. I'm gonna see if that goes out of frame. I've never tried. <laughs> uh, oh, I think if there was a hurricane like that where I lived, I'd be terrified. Yes. <laughs> I freak out when there's like a bad hail storm. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's, I'm looking at the screen. I have my like live stream caught up and I think that's okay. I don't think it freaked out. I made it bigger is what I did. Cause what I'm going to do now is save this as a JPEG and just put it off to the side as I work on my other stuff. Um, let me see here. Where is the option? As I work, I'm going to start like a page and I'm just going to probably sketch it out. I won't do too much with it. Just fun. <laughs> it's a strong boy. 
I'm gonna wake up with glass on my face. I hope not. <laughs> just just lie on your back and then it'll be be glass in your back. <laughs> no, I mean lie on your face. Don't lie on your face though because then you'll suffocate. Don't listen to anything I say. I have terrible worldly advice. <laughs> Uh, you need to stream more so you can finish your project. <laughs> uh, I did add your, you put like another channel up, I think you said, um, where you uh, have like a gaming thing. I did add that. I, I'm just really behind in YouTube right now. I haven't been able to catch up on um, my, <laughs> like looking at people's videos and stuff. So, um, okay, let me see. This will be the JPEG and then I'm going to move it over. I'm gonna see if this will show up on my screen and then I'll have like a space here where I can work on the comic part. So let me let me see if this shows up. I'm always testing things out. Uh, okay. Miss Art Garden's hurricane advice. <laughs> Just lie on your face. You'll be fine. What is it? Um, that you're supposed to do. Okay, let's. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make this even smaller and just kind of put it over here. What is it that you're supposed to do if there's like a big hurricane? I guess you're just supposed to evacuate. <laughs> but if you're stuck in your house, I'd assume you try to board up the windows, and then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then maybe I guess you would um, shut off your gas and electricity. And just hope for the best. I don't know. I've never been through such a, a disaster like that. <laughs> um, sit in a corner and cry. That's probably what I would do. And then I would just kind of hope that someone would come and get me. <laughs> I hope I could get out of there. Or maybe I would just like, I don't know. <laughs> You'll wait <laughs> for stuff to go down. Okay, so let me get my little, I haven't got to open my little text file back up again. So I think the first thing I'm going to draw, and I'm really just going to, this is how I do my comics. I just do them in, in like sort of uh, stick figures to begin with. The first panel, let's do these in like three panels. And I'm just going to kind of draw them out like this. And these will just be messy little things. I don't know how far. <laughs> um, She'll be kind of sitting and crying. I don't know if I'll end up going with this. So, you know, like the idea was be that she's crying. I'm literally just, don't, don't judge my sketches. <laughs> I'm going to just like put this in and then I'll probably, I might look up a reference of a girl crying. Uh, cause her, her face, her hands look <laughs> like this. Uh, this is not, this is just a sketch so I can get down my ideas. Um, so she'll be sitting here crying and then um, I'm going to write so people come in and they won't judge me. Just rough sketching. <laughs> there we go. So now people won't judge me and think that's how don't 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 draw like this if you're drawing for realsies. <laughs> I think I'll probably um, so she's crying in the first panel, and let's and then in the second panel she'll be like sitting and looking up at someone here. This is just my idea. Uh, sheesh, I can't even get like a a decent like sketch in. Um, like this, someone's talking to her over here. And there'll be like a kindly other ghost who's telling her something. And uh, they'll be kind of leaning over. And then she'll be like, happy, like, really? Wow, that's amazing. This is my idea. This is how my comics usually go, and that's why they're terrible and take forever. <laughs> and I'll, we'll, we'll draw the smile so she'll be happy. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, cause, well, what did I write? Let's see, I say, this is why my, my, this is <laughs> the script. Let's see, what am I missing? I live in a safe place, so I'm going to be fine normally. When stuff hits the f fan, the gov will try to help as slow as possible to reduce population. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Uh, she's a sp sad spirit. Um, 
Yeah, so I, st I wrote House Full of Ghosts. I might do like another page where I do like an intro, like scene setup, I guess is what it's called. One comforting in her say she'll have fun there. Uh, and then it says, it's almost Halloween. That'll be the best. That's the best time to be a ghost. We'll spend night. Uh, we'll spend the night scaring people. Okay. So yeah, that was my idea to have this. Maybe I'll break this panel. She'll be kind of like a easy to win over kind of person. I'll break this panel up so that the person can be talking to her over here. So this will be ghost number one. I'm going to write um, main character. This will be ghost number one. This is main character. Ghost number one and main character. Just so I don't forget how I've set this all up. And this is... <laughs> Does anyone else like do this silly little... Uh, Oh, I have, um, let me see here, comic design one. I have to save that. <laughs> you have to get going one day, I will get to watch the whole stream. <laughs> uh, okay, well, have a good day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for stopping by. Maybe I'll catch you on your stream next and I can keep working on my crochet. <laughs> um, Mexicano is a ghost now. Everyone can be a ghost. <laughs> so now I'm going to uh, make another one. I'm going to look up a reference of a girl crying because I think sometimes <laughs> I've been having a little bit of an off day. So I think it's a good idea to have a reference for this. So I'm going to say girl, uh, woman crying. I don't want her to look too young. I don't know if I'll have her crying in her hands or what. Let's look at a few images. <laughs> oh, there's there's quite a few sad ones. Um, yeah, so if you look, <laughs> I guess I can't show you. I should set this up so that, I don't know. I really need to <laughs> look into stuff here. Uh, I like this one. I'll like copy and paste it over to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> what I mean here in a second maybe I'm gonna look up uh, sad instead of crying because there's quite a few that are <laughs> a little silly old lady <laughs> should I look up crying old ladies that seems kind of mean uh, yeah I think that <laughs> I'm just looking at things. I don't know. I'm not really getting an inspiration. I think I will do a lot of these are from like a profile view and maybe that will help I think. So I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to, this is going to be a sketch <laughs> like three I think I'm on and I'm going to, is this the one that's like that? So then I'll do um, sketch four. Let me see. What, what's on this layer? Okay, that was just the line. I don't think I need that anymore. Let's see. Husband died in war left alone. I'm going to... I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. It wasn't really helping me with the guides anyways. And let's draw a very sad looking ghost. Um, here is... I mean, I'm, I'm not really using an exact example. But I was thinking something a little bit. Let me copy this image. I hope it's not um, copyrighted or anything. <laughs> paste it. It'll probably be very small. Did it paste? I guess it doesn't copy. <laughs> okay. Copy image. And then if I paste it. There it is. So I don't know what's going on. She's like being... She feels like she's being held back or something. This isn't exactly what I'm going to do, but I just like the idea of the profile with um, her sobbing a little bit in her hand. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to be a very small space, but this is still kind of the sketch out phase. <laughs> Hello, modeling flug for life. Um, yeah, I've just, I did like a little bit of character art. <laughs> you haven't missed much. This little concept design of this character and now I'm gonna sort of draw the first uh, page of the comic out. It's just kind of a little fun fun project I'm working on. Um, this is the wrong thing. I'm gonna be on this layer. Yeah. 
<laughs> so now I'm going to draw the first page out. Um, so I'm going to draw her very small. I'm not used to working this small. Draw her like this. Uh, and then she'll be looking down. I'll probably just have her... Uh, oh, let's, let's have her look a little bit more like this. And then she'll be very sad. <laughs> so get that kind of bend to her neck. I think that'll look good. I'm going to shrink this up a bit because it looks a little bit too long. So I'll just reshape that a bit. Look a little more feminine. Feminine? <laughs> like I said, my, my speech goes the longer I do these. <laughs> uh, I see I see the, the uh, peanut gallery has arrived. Is that the term? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. And then I'll have her... I don't think I'm gonna have a hand in her. I think this hand over here will be like like wiping a tear away. You know, like uh, if her hand was something like this, and then uh, this is just a terrible example. You should never draw hands like that, like wiping a tear. But um, yeah, so have her shoulder down in a very dejected way, something like that. Just kind of sketch her out to begin with, and then I'll refine it a little bit. And then like this. Uh, yeah, I didn't really do my usual guides. So her neck looks a little bit too thick. I'll just make an adjustment there. And maybe move her head in a bit. <laughs> Something like that. There's very sketchy lines. <laughs> I was talking with um, Server Down earlier. And we were talking about... Uh, tablets and how you know like when you're drawing uh, when you're sketching in real life you might like have a smooth line but in tablets I'm always like, 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 like <laughs> little chicken scratches I think it just makes it a little easier I think it's harder to do like fine motor skilled things on tablets there's a bit of a translation for your brain to have to go through <laughs> um, so yep I, I'm definitely not doing that <laughs> Vitek <laughs> Oh, I know that's the always, always the request. <laughs> How are you doing today, Vitek? Are you having a good day? Are you having enjoying your weekend? Let's see here. So she's very sad. Um, this shoulder too will be kind of down. She'll have. Uh, I've drawn her with a little cape here, so that'll be interesting. <laughs> figuring all that out with the. The shoulders and stuff and all these drawings. <laughs> a little bit hesitant, but I think it'll work good. Uh, so I think that's good for like placement. I'm gonna draw this in a little bit more. And I mean, uh, shrink it down a bit is what I mean. Um, the best lemon around. <laughs> the best scratching lemon. <laughs> Um, so she'll just be a little bit sad and dejected and feel a little bummed out, but that's okay. So that is sketching phase number two. And uh, maybe we'll have her her palm, still trying to figure that out, her palm like that, and then it'll go down a little bit like that. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Has to go out like this and then over. And then her, um, I'm going to move this away and work on it so I don't have to worry about like it getting in the way of those lines. So if we do something like that and her hand is in, I gotta think, so her, her pinkies will be facing the camera, her pinky, and then this will be her first finger. So maybe we'll have her first finger like that and we'll have it like she's kind of has a fist where she's um, <laughs> wiping away a tear or something. I don't know what I'm doing. This is a terrible hand. <laughs> but that's okay. Just trying to sketch it in. Uh, and then if we put that up, does that look good? Just in theory? No. <laughs> that's okay. I got one more. One more idea. I think we'll have the palm facing away. I gotta think about this for a second. 
I'm just wondering if that ghost would say boo or boobs. Uh, I think she would say boo boobs. <laughs> That's probably it. Um, so yeah, I would have her palm like this instead. Like she's resting in it, so that would be her thumb, theoretically, and her, her fingers would all be back there. And then she could have, like she's resting her hand in her palm. So I might do something more like that. You know, and I'd have to uh, get this at the right angle and stuff. I don't know if this is coming across to other people. I feel a little bit uh, self-conscious because my sketches are always just such a mess. <laughs> so it would look something like that. And I think that would work okay. I'll just leave it like that. I think that can... So then we'll have that sketched and then we'll have her over here. Let's do a better job of her looking surprised. So I'm okay with this placement. Um... Let's have her her face. She's going to be looking up a little bit at a sharper angle. So I'll sketch it in like this. Um, in theory, her her jaw would show right here. <laughs> and yeah, it's very messy sketching. I guess Halloween is still kind of far away. I wonder if anyone has thought, does anyone still dress up for Halloween or or uh, when I was in school, I'd always wear a costume. <laughs> I've kind of gotten away from it lately. I don't have any reason. I don't go to any parties or anything. I just spend it at my place. So <laughs> I don't really dress up much anymore. So, and then her, um, her shoulders would still be kind of like this as she looks up. Like, what's going on? <laughs> it makes sense in my head. I don't know how much any of this makes sense anywhere else. <laughs> Uh, but there we go. Um, and then her head, as always, I've made way too large, so I'll just shrink that up a bit before I move on. I, I'm always curious. I should look up and see, like, other people's, um, <laughs> I guess, technique on when they're drawing comics, like how many stages they go through or whatever. Uh, let me see here. And then this other ghost will be looking down a bit. Or just maybe, maybe this, I guess this angle is good. I'll just have the, um, <laughs> have her or him, I haven't decided yet, kind of bending over. So this will be them and then they're, they'll go in like that. And then their, their arms will be, maybe their arms would be down like they're, like they're grabbing their knees. <laughs> Can't quite decide. And then like that. I think that'll work. And then uh, the original ghost. <laughs> Hello, JM Design. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you're having a good day and enjoying your weekend. I'm uh, just kind of going through <laughs> the process here, deciding how I want to draw this. Um, so we have this kind of floating face. I'll draw it a little bit better over here. <laughs> um, I say as I, I jaggedly add the lines. That's okay. Uh, I'm, I've kind of like lost like a little bit of my, my thought process. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If I'm going to do this as a guy, I'm going to have to do it quickly as a guy, but I think I like it as a girl. We'll have other ghost, male ghosts in the house. <laughs> It'll be a, an equal, uh, um, what is the word where you have, like, co-ed, I think is the word I'm looking for. So we'll have this kind of face here, and uh, I guess I'll draw in the neck, like over this, and then maybe I have, like, a shoulder up. Like they're explaining something, and then we'll have like a hand here. Maybe that might be kind of fun. And that that's a little bit wedged in there, huh? That's okay. I'm just kind of placing it out. I can just move it on out real quick like this. Everyone has gone quiet. <laughs> Every time the chat goes quiet, I keep I have like these uh, moments. I'm like, did my thing cut out? <laughs> Hopefully not. One time my audio cut out for like half hour. I've already said this. I'm terrible at retelling stories. <laughs> my audio cut out for like a half hour and then finally someone was like, we can't hear you. 
I was just sitting there talking to myself. Happy as a clam. Uh, here we go, like this. And like that. Okay, we'll, we'll just kind of leave it there. I, I, it's a concept. <laughs> I think the hand will need to go out a little bit more. Um, maybe like this. I'm trying to picture it like, you know, if the, if the arm went this way and then the hand came in this way at this angle. A little bit more natural. <laughs> um, and then over here she would be very big and happy. So I'm going to draw this since it's going to be going out of frame a little bit. Uh, put it over here and this will help me out. I guess I can just kind of line it up with the one I already sort of had. Uh, and then she'll be like, really? And she'll look up all happy. Oh man. <laughs> I need to move my tab a little closer. But it's, it's looking special. I've got my... Every time I move my tablet, I have to, to work on the angle a bit because it's like I draw from like a slanted way, like even in real life. Now I've lost my angle. Let me see here. Oh, that's straight. I think this is good. Nope. <laughs> it's my brain. It's dying. My brain is going, going to a, a, a dying place. That's okay. I'm just going to put it in like that and that'll be good. So now we have the um, second layer of my my sketches and now I'm just going to kind of reform these into more of a um, final look I think. And this is just kind of how I usually do my my comics. Don't worry we still hear you we just like to listen quietly. Everyone goes down into the quiet mode. <laughs> I understand how it is. After let's see how long does it say how long I've been streaming two hours and <laughs> 11 minutes my voice starts to go and then I worry. But I've been drinking constantly, so I'm sure eventually <laughs> my bladder my bladder will join my voice and being like, nope, we're done. <laughs> um, okay, so we have her, let's see, did I draw her over here? I drew her nose like really far out like that. I don't think I'm going to do that in this one. Let me see, I'm going to turn my hardness up a bit. And I'm just going to kind of work on getting her face... Uh, so she's going to look a little bit sad. <laughs> um, yeah, I think maybe I'll do it a little bit more over because I don't want it like a profile exactly. I'm going to have it more like this. So let's draw her. I'm going to, before I continue, I'm going to brighten this up a bit so I won't get confused by my new lines. <laughs> and that'll help me out and that'll help the viewers out. <laughs> So let's get her eyes in. I don't, I've lost all my guidelines. I guess I'll do a quick thing here like that to remind me. Get her eyes in here and give her some eyelashes because I, I usually give my female characters eyelashes and makeup. <laughs> I don't know if that's, I don't know. Uh, I think it's okay to do that. It's just a style thing. I don't mean anything by it like, like stance wise. <laughs> so we'll do that and that. And then we'll put this in here like this. And then uh, her nose will come out like this. <laughs> I kind of wish I wasn't doing like pure black. <laughs> I feel like I've committed to it now. And then um, something like this. Some of it is it's very hard to draw like small but close up if that makes sense. Like on the computer you you blow up the file like it's kind of small that I'm drawing <laughs> but um, also kind of big because I'm blowing it up so you can't quite get by with all the usual like sketches that you won't see because it's all blown out <laughs> I think I'm a little bit of a cheat so we'll have her go like that and then her neck will be down like this and then her shoulder will come out like that I think and then I'm going to draw her clothes on so I'm not gonna worry too much about getting her shoulders perfect. And this can come down like this. And then I'm gonna have, I was gonna have her hand. Let's um, see the palm would be here. And then the, um, <laughs> the back of the hand would go there. Let's move that over like this. And a little bit down like this. I think that'll work. And then we can have her finger kind of come up. 
Uh, and I guess you wouldn't see it because it would be going behind. <laughs> I'm just like butcher racing there a little bit. I'll leave it like that for now. And we can have her be unhappy and sad. Something like that. I'm gonna re redo this nose. It's a little bit big for her. And I'm not gonna go... This is, I can say this is like more of a finalized drawing, but this is still a sketch because I'll go in with the pen tool then and do um, more of a finalized drawing. And I might like give her like some sad tears <laughs> there for the final two. I'll have to think about it. Um, now I see her nose needs to come out just a little bit too because I've erased it. Let's bring that out a little bit. And let's see, her ear would be here. A little bit over like you know between the top of the eye and the bottom of the nose and uh, <laughs> and then I'll draw in her hair so her hair I'm gonna erase this get an eyebrow in for her like that get one over here like this and then um, I think I decided that her hair was going to be a little more visible over here, so we'll have it kind of coming down over by here. And she'll have a little bit of area here. Do I, do I have some room to bring this up? I do. <laughs> that's, that'll be the, the uh, section of hair that's like pulled back. And then it'll go down like this. <laughs> and then I better draw, let's, let's draw a little bit of there. I think that'll look nice like that if I draw it in and then break it down. And then her other part will go here, and she can have a little bit out. Maybe in the future I'll draw her with like a little bow or something too. I think it's nice to add like a little embellishment that's not like super hard to draw over and over again like in a comic. <laughs> um, so then, you know, her hair might come out like that. And then her, she was wearing a <laughs> sleeve, I mean like, like this, just has like that little outfit kind of designed earlier. So we'll give her the sleeve and um, something like that. I'll <laughs> give some wrinkles around that area and this might be, I might end up blowing this out and making it so like her knee is like this, if that makes sense, and she's resting it on. Or I might just leave it in frame <laughs> and contained. I'll have to see what I like. I think actually this needs to come in a bit. If I'm looking at this now, uh, <laughs> the one benefit of the computer is that you can just put it in like that. Uh, you can move things <laughs> easier, rather. And let's see, she's gonna have a big collar. I'll probably blow this out when I draw on her collar because I can't remember it <laughs> exactly. And th this looked okay as was, so I'm gonna leave it more or less like that. Um, and then this and like this. I think like that. That looks good. Um, yeah, let's zoom out so I can look at this collar. So it goes, let's just, I just left it a nice spiky thing so it can go down like this and then meet up here. So in theory it comes out like that. So you'd have it go in like that and then it can come out like that. It's a little bit hard to see I think with the the sketching color I used, but that's okay. We'll do it like that. And then she'll have it go out like that. It'll come down, so we'll miss that shoulder. It'll, it'll meet up where this um, center clasp is. <laughs> and then we'll have it so it goes behind her back here a bit. And over her arm. And over this arm as well. So we'll have this come out and go over like this. And then I can erase all this center stuff that would be missing, except I'm going to leave that line in. Like you can see it even with the um, cloak on. Okay, so that's the first panel more or less done. <laughs> this is quite a mess. Um, and then I'll, I'll do my final changes later when I ink it. Hello Mal uh, Malaya, is that how, I hope that's how you say it. I hope you're having a good day. I'm just kind of planning out this comic and doing the first page, sort of. Um, <laughs> just looking at it, and it's a bit of, it's about a ghost girl. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a little bit of a second here to put some chapstick on. 
because in addition to the mic, my voice really does hurt. It's weird that like after two hours of constantly talking, your voice goes so much. Hopefully I don't sound hoarse. I don't think I do. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to draw the second panel and I'll draw her like looking up like, what? <laughs> really? Um, I'm just contemplating how I'm going to draw that, I think. I don't I don't know if I want it uh, I'll just wing it <laughs> I, I'm always gonna try to like think about it for a minute but I think I'll just wing it I'll just have her looking up like what really so I guess it's Saturday night for a lot of people I wonder if anyone has any fun plans I, don't, I uh yeah, I don't really. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything tonight. I'm going to catch up finally on some videos and stuff that I've been putting in the watch later category so I don't forget them. Um, I think I'm going to have her mouth open like a little bit disbelieving like, what? Really? <laughs> I'm just so bad at explaining how it looks in my head versus how I want it to, to be portrayed here. But that's okay. <laughs> uh... Okay, I, I keep getting distracted and looking over. Okay, so I want this to go in and her mouth. This is, I'm gonna blow it up. It's a little bit weird drawing in this close, as I've said for the third time. <laughs> and then we'll bring this out and down. This bottom lip always goes a little bit more. She's got like a bit, a bit of an issue here with her nose looking a bit mousy. I'll probably fix that when I ink it. Right now I'm, uh, just gonna keep going, <laughs> keep it looking good. Uh, she'll have a little tiny bit, let's bring this in a little bit and go down like that. And she'll have like a little bit of tiny bit of her eye shown over here I think. And then a little bit one here, <laughs> if that makes sense. I feel like my, my, my motor skills, <laughs> they've abandoned me. It's okay, I'll just keep working it. So she's looking over here. This has to be fixed. <laughs> um, I've moved it in a bit, so we'll move it like this. And then her eye is not the proper, like it needs to go from the side, so it needs to look a little bit more like this. And you'll be able to just see the, the uh, bit of her eye here. Okay. All right, this needs to come forward a bit. <laughs> I like can see what's wrong, but I'm having a hard time fixing it. You know how it goes. There we go, something like that. And then it'll go up and over like this. And then once I draw her hair in, it'll look a little bit better, I think. So this, I think this is okay here. Like that's a bit of a shadow area. And so this will come down and she'll be like, Looking, this will be a little bit more at this angle, like she's looking, she's sticking her head forward. <laughs> and, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird because like when you're, when you're live streaming, if you, like in real life, you could just take a minute. <laughs> I feel like I have to keep going, even though some of this looks a little special. That's okay. Um. Draw that ear in. I should give her some earring, uh, yeah, earrings or something maybe. Okay, so I got to think about how her hair looks. Uh, maybe this side is, I think, more over. So we'll do this, this, and then it'll come down like that, and then over here like this. And then you can still see a little bit of her eye on that side. Okay, and then her, her. Her hair will come out like that and then it will come down a little bit and then go out I think that looks good and her bring her her head out here and this hair will have to go out a little bit more I'm gonna go I have some things I need to take care of oh uh, thank you for stopping my <laughs> server down I'm sorry I didn't know you're still there I'm really happy that I got to talk with you because I feel like we should we should talk more and if you want to do that collab <laughs> just let me know 
um, sometime in the future. You can contact me anywhere. <laughs> but have a great day, and thanks for stopping by, and I hope you're in you enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Um, let's see here. I'm going to put that down there. I have more time now. My schedule's freed up. So <laughs> a couple of people have asked for collabs in the past that I've kind of not like been blowing off, but have been putting off a little bit. It'll be fun to do some. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we'll just kind of put that messily in here. I want to get her collar in and it, it's like a pointed thing. Maybe, uh, let's see, I'll just draw it in like this for now. This one will go out and then down. <laughs> and this one will go out and then up like this. I think maybe that will curve down. <laughs> maybe I'll look at some cape capes after this. So we'll bring her shoulder in. Give her a little bit more of a dynamic pose that way. And we'll bring the shoulder out a little bit I think and I think I'm gonna get rid of that sketch for now because I think it's throwing me off a little bit okay so she has this moment where she's like what really and uh, I think that looks good <laughs> for now <laughs> this head part is like sunken in and it looks very strange so maybe I should try to fix it a little bit bring it forward and then bring all of this up a little bit because it's down a little too far. These are like things that you don't quite see the first time around and then they start <laughs> start looking a little more obvious. Um, something like that. And then I'll just have to fix this. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much of that is going to be shown. Maybe I'll just do this instead. There we go like that, and then I could do like that. I think that'll work. Bring this ear in a little bit too. <laughs> that. And I'll just probably fix that a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> see, what's going on here? I can see it. Is this is like too flat, and it should be like this. Oops, like curved. Uh. I don't know how much I want to like pick at it though. Like, while I'm, I just want to keep going and and not to worry because sometimes you get like fixate on on this stuff and it frustrates you more. But I guess I can work a little bit more. <laughs> um, move this in to a little bit, so we'll warp it and we'll move it down and in, and that is a little bit better, I think. And hopefully, <laughs> I can fix it later. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Oops. I think my my catch might be filling up on my Photoshop. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That's okay. And then we'll do one more of her over here. And I'll just get these this final face in like this. <laughs> and I think Which is a good start to this. It takes forever to do comics, <laughs> I think. Some of it, like, you have to write it out. You have to write a good script. You have to write kind of a breakdown of what goes on which page. And um, I'm really terrible at writing dialogue. <laughs> I've noticed that. I wonder if that's, like, anyone else's problem. Because it's, like, one of those things, like, you can write it out and you can even say it out loud. And you're like, yeah, that sounds right. And then you come back to it later. And it's like terrible, and you're like, what, what, what was I even trying to say? No one would speak like that. Um, some of it was like when I was having my comic dubbed, and I sent the um, volunteer voice actors uh, my the lines, and they would record them. You know, just they were they were prose. <laughs> they would record them as written, but it was very like stilted and stuff. Like I'm trying to think of a specific line. If you have a really long line, that does not help. Like, so if you have something like, um, I was going to go to the market today, but then I remembered that I couldn't get there without blah, 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 blah. It just becomes like really stilted. Like no one talks. I mean, I, maybe you do talk like that, but not, it just it doesn't sound like as a good fiction thing. <laughs> so I definitely think one of my biggest weaknesses, if I was ever going to 
you know, take this comic stuff a little more serious, <laughs> which I don't see doing any time in the near future. Um, I would have to learn how to write dialogue. So things like, you know, I don't know, just, just more natural sounding dialogue. Some of it is, <laughs> I never talk to people, uh, like ever <laughs> in real life. I talk on online to people and stuff. But that's okay. So we'll just have her kind of her face in here like this. Originally I was going to have this line here and then one here. So <laughs> this might be a little too far down. Her face is a little, little bit cut off, a little bit too cut off, I think, for me. Um, I could either go one extreme or the other. Uh, I'll just leave it for now and I might just adjust it later when I do the final inking. We'll give her a little bit of teeth showing, a little bit of mouth. <laughs> I, I need to fix this though because this needs to come in if I'm going to do it at this angle. I think it's a little too cut off. <laughs> oh well. Um, so yeah, her hair will go like this and then you won't be able to see much over here. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> I think that last little bit is a little strained. Oh well. I think I'm going to have to call it. I think I'm getting a little bit loopy. I think my um, artwork needs to be... I mean, I think I need to give my, my poor wrists a break. <laughs> so, um, you know, thank you everyone who came by. I hope you had a fun time with the... Um, yeah, just a fun time hanging out and stuff. I know this is a bit silly. Uh, but, um, I thought it would be fun to just kind of work and design the character and then just kind of get started on the, um, uh, comic a bit. So I'll probably, if I can get this done by Halloween, I'll probably put this up just for fun. And if I can get it dubbed, it would be even better, but I don't know. <laughs> I have to get it done way ahead of time and then have, you know, people come in and, uh, uh record the lines and then edit it and stuff. So... I'll have to see. I'll push for it in case anyone is interested in seeing how it turned out. <laughs> Thanks everyone for stopping by and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and I will uh, hopefully see, <laughs> see you around. I, I do live streamings every Saturday <laughs> around 1130 my time. I really should look up what that would be universal time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Thanks again. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.